Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is a full review of Black Afghano by Nasa Mato. Um, I've been asked to review this one a few times over the past few years, but I never kind of bothered getting around to it. And so um, I thought it was probably about time that I did. And so here we go. This is my, my review on it. And so I'll start off by saying NASA Mato uh, don't have note breakdowns. They, they've never released note breakdowns. There's no official note breakdown from NASA Mato. It doesn't exist. Any note breakdown that you see on the internet is basically somebody's personal opinion of what they think is in it. It's, it's not a NASA Mato breakdown. They don't do that. That's the point of their brand is that their notes are hidden. Um, they give you like a one-line inspirational kind of quote and that's all you get. In in terms of Black Afghanos quote, it basically says along the lines of uh, exhibiting the best qualities of hashish, um, as in cannabis. Now, that, I think, quote, uh, throws people into believing this has cannabis essential oil in there, that it uses cannabis. And to my sense of smell, I don't smell cannabis and I'll tell you what it is that I do smell. And also the nose himself tells you that there's no cannabis in there if you watch his documentary, The Nose, uh, which I'll put in, in this video. Um, and when he's asked, he goes, no, 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 uh, no. Uh, <laughs> that's his reply. So y you could probably assume that there is no cannabis in here. Black Afghana, we say it's hashish. Is it still hashish? Uh, no, 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 no. And cannabis is a essential oil that I have myself. It's quite potent. It's uh, dark green, herbaceous, leafy, earthy, uh, quite a pungent kind of note. I don't, I don't smell it in black Afghano, but um, there you go. Um, so as far as I'm aware, it doesn't contain cannabis. What I do smell is an oud synthetic base. It's called Black Agar Jivko by Jivadan. And this is a an oud synthetic base material that uh, is quite complex. It has a lot of nuances to it. It's, I would describe it as being balsamic, ambery, woody, uh, slightly sweet, slightly incensey slightly tobacco like um it's an interesting note it's quite like i say complex in its facets it's quite a deep uh, nuances to it it's it's an interesting material doesn't smell like oud but it's an interesting material and um yeah it's described by jivadan as the uh, the recreation of the aroma of burning agarwood chips so it's not really meant to smell like oud oil, it's meant to be a smell of as if you took agarwood chips, wood chips, and burned them on a burner and the incense smoke that comes off that is uh, supposedly the you know the recreation of Black Card Jivko. I don't really get that either, but <laughs> it's quite a pleasant aroma. It's like I say, multifaceted, quite interesting, a little bit balsamic, a little bit incense kind of sweet, um, a lot of nuances to it. Uh, I smell that, basically. Uh, as as soon as I smell black Afghano, I was like, oh, black agar jivko. <laughs> like, instant recall. The, if you own that material and you smell black Af black Afghano, uh, there's, it's just instant. There's not really any doubt. Um, going to the name black Afghano itself, black Afghano is Italian for black Afghan, Afghan black. Um, Afghan being short for Afghanistan. Uh, Afghan black is basically the name given to a, a cannabis resin produced in Afghanistan. And it's a black, thick, black resinous block that they create from this particular strain of cannabis. There's a very potent form of cannabis resin uh, that you obviously smoke. And so it's named after that. Our finest qualities of hashish. Uh, in this case, he's not used cannabis. He's used a, an, an agarwood uh, synthetic base material to create this kind of effect. 
The top note is a little bit itchy and scratchy, not quite sure what's going on in the top. There's definitely added materials in there for the top notes that last about 20 minutes on my skin before the, 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 the Oud Synthetic really pumps through as the core of the fragrance. Uh, you'll smell it uh, most fam familiar at about 20 minutes, half an hour and being on skin. If you put the raw material on this hand and Black Afghano on this, smell it half an hour in. You'll, you'll easily recognize uh, that it, that they shared DNA. I think there's probably patchouli in Baf Black Afghano. There's definitely other woods in there. There's definitely other amber materials or resins. Um, and I would say um, some kind of, I would say woody amber molecules as in synthetics. Um, this, as it starts to dry down, I perceive sandalwood notes. The sandalwood comes across to me as more synthetic sandalwood. I, I might be wrong, um, but it comes across that way. So I get a feeling of sandalwood in the base coming through that seems quite obvious to me as definitely sandalwood. And that uh, makes it a little bit more creamy as it dries down, a little bit more woody, it fills it out a little bit more. I never really connected much with Black Afghano because of this instant recall with that one particular material. It's when you're familiar with the material and you smell it strongly, you kind of kind of lose interest in the fragrance a bit. So that's kind of, uh, yeah, that's for me, it's not one I would buy myself. So you get more of the sandalwood coming up through the base. Uh, like I say, it's paired with, I think, other ambers, other amber molecules or resins and other woody notes. Uh, sandalwood definitely being one of them, possibly a bit of patchouli. There's some kind of a scratchiness in the opening, which I'm not sure what that comes from. I can get why people think that it smells cannabis-like because there's a prickliness to the opening um, and I think people are associating that prickliness with cannabis. Um, so uh, yeah, it's an interesting fragrance. I think if you don't own the material then you will love it more. If you do, you probably won't. <laughs> And so that's why I, know I didn't really get around to reviewing this one in a hurry. Um, but that, that's what I get. It's balsamic, it's resinous, it's sweet, it's slightly incense-y um, with a sandalwood kind of coming through in the base. The dry down, um, I do perceive a little bit of an additional sweetness, which is not coming from a resin or an amber. It smells a little bit more like coumarin to me, but very, very faint. I don't think there's very much used if if any, but uh, there is a slight hint of a coumarin-like sweetness at the very, very tail end of the dry down. Um, so there is a slight additional sweetness to this. In terms of uh, performance, I would say about nine hours on my skin. It has been reformulated, I believe. This is one of the newer samples I've got. Um, it used to be stronger, but on my skin, nine hours. Um, fairly good projection sillage from what I was able to perceive by myself. Um, I could smell it around myself very easily for quite a while. And so I would say in general, it probably leans a little bit more on the masculine. I don't think it would quite appeal to women as much. Although in general, you know, unisex, I suppose. But I think more men would like it than women. It's obviously a colder weather fragrance. And for me, kind of a colder weather nighttime fragrance. I. It's not something I would personally wear to work, but I don't think you'll massively offend anybody, to be honest. I don't think the scent is that crazy in terms of um, polarity of people disliking it so much. But I would say it's also, at the same token, it's not really going to be a compliment getter. It's not going to... People aren't going to go, oh, wow, you smell amazing, what's that? I mean, they might do, the odd person might, but it's not really that kind of fragrance. Um, it's a little bit more uh, of a, a unique personal kind of taste, I would say. And so it's not going to be hugely mass appealing, in my opinion. Hence why I'm not, I'm not sure you would want to wear it to work. But as a casual uh, personal fragrance for the evening, if you like more kind of balsamic, sweet, woody fragrances, you might like this. And... Um, that's about as good as I can describe it for you. I mean, it's difficult knowing that or perceiving that particular material because that's your the nose latches onto that and it's kind of all you can smell. And so I'm trying to pull myself back and remind myself of trying to pick out other other notes. 
sandalwood being the obvious one to me that you can smell coming through in the dry down um, with obviously a feeling of additional woods and amber materials kind of filling it out but the core core line of down the middle of it is definitely the the black uh, black agar and yeah that's it hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think of it and i will see you soon with another one take care everyone bye instant recall of that particular one material <coughs>